Yeah, I think our app is coming along nicely. And as I look, so um, the way it works is you come in, you click on the actual course that you're actually interested in. And then it brings you to an information page. I went ahead and I took a snapshot here of the information page, what it should look like. And each one, see this arrow right here, it'll bring you back to the home page. And as you go ahead and you click on then the second course, information page, third course, and it's, each one is same sort of look, feel information in which when you uh, go to it, there's an image. Then it's the title of the course with a brief description. Then there's a link to the course content. And then there's a registration uh, form and a submit button. And that information then goes off to the, the uh, table that you'll create. We're going to do these in two steps. First, let's go ahead and make this top part. Uh, and then we'll finish it with creating the uh, reg uh, portion. We have to make a table for this. So let's, and I'll make one. And then once I make the one, really you don't need to make any others because each and every one is the exact same skill multiplied by one, two, three, four. So as long as you know one, then you're successful. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, the video tech class. And I want to develop it now to look like this over here. And how do I have, make it look like that? I go ahead and um, I'm going to just follow this as my script over here. And so I have, I'm going to first, I'm going to leave the breadcrumbs, um, but I'm going to eliminate everything else that's just here by default. So here, I'm getting rid of uh, fields. Then I'm going to come in and go, uh, let's go ahead and put the image on. And so the image, again, we're going to components, and let's go to content, and let's go to image. And right here, here's our image. And I want it to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to say small. And then you can pick and choose however you want it to look for you. Okay, that's how I want. I just want to match it up. Then the next one in line that I designed and the original one is title. Here's the title with a, a description underneath, and then we'll do links. So let's go over here. We're going to click on components, and then we're going to go to uh, this title right here. Simple title. Now, it comes in nicely, and the only thing I don't want is I already have an image, and it has, and, and again, you can pick your look and feel. Uh, I want it to go ahead, and I don't want this here. I like this look here, and it doesn't matter what I do. I can't get that look, so I want to keep it like this, and then here's my trick. I come into image, and I go to URL, and then I don't insert a URL. I'm done and then I get the feel that I want. The subtitle, this part here, I want that to be my description. So I'm going to go instead of name, let's go description. Remember, all it's doing is looking at, oh, and then the first part, title, that's off. So let's go to name, there. And all it's referring to is that database that you originally made, that RLS database. Um, so that's, once you make that, uh, it's, just, it's just using those cells over and over and over again, the data you put in those cells. Okay, so now we're almost there. What I'd like now to do is, um, how about we'll put in this link, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, sorry, components, and then I'm going to go to action, and link, and here it is, right here, and all I want then is I'm going to change it to say to view course content click here and so I'm going to come out I have it active and I go title nope I want it to be custom and I'm going to type in to view course content click dot 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 Click here. And that's it. Uh, everything else I think looks good. It's appearing just the way I want it. And we go back. I have this. I click on Video Tech. And all I need to do now is add the registration form to the bottom of it.